so I never thought I'd need to make this tutorial but here's a tutorial it's a bit of a meme tutorial but it's also going to be informative on how to speed run whistleblower glitchless no save and quit this category has been getting a lot of attention recently and uh, it's about time someone made a, a tutorial on it even though uh, it's going to be pretty pointless because like, no one's going to watch it anyway but it'll be pretty funny so uh, we're just going to start off by going forwards, take a left, and then open up this door. Now, coming up, there's a, uh, you're going to dodge wall rider. Now, if you see up here, that, you want to stay to the right of that when you do it, because if you're underneath it, you can uh, get hit into it. Or oh, that's what I've experienced happen before. And you want to either strafe jump or you want to turn or you want to jump and turn your mouse. I usually do jump and turn your mouse. So I'll show you. So here's the thing. You just stay to the right of it. Like this. Jump like that. Straight through here. And then tap this door. Don't hold it. Because if you hold it, you clip through the door. And that's classed as a door clip. So... Uh, I probably won't cut out a lot of cutscenes because I'm lazy and uh, there's only one that I really need to cut out and that's uh, Eddie Locker because that cutscene is like five minutes long it's a bit ridiculous so I'm gonna quickly explain uh, fast opens for some doors uh, a door like this you can do a fast open on by holding the door uh, so you're going to jump towards it and then you're going to hold the door but not for very long so you just want to sort of like an extended tap so like that and then continue to hold shift and W and you can run through so it's going to come to this hallway take a right take a right and come into this room so I'm going to explain how to get into this vent so this vent can be really tricky if you miss angle you can do this and th this has happened a lot to me, and it loses a lot of time. But you can, if you get the right angle, do something like that. And that's a quick animation. So this works on ledges and such. So you like strafe, uh, strafe jump to the left, and then turn your camera, and then spam space to get up. Is that Mount Massive? I never knew that. Huh, interesting. So yeah, just do that, like that. Uh, if you get stuck here, just turn your camera and you'll jump up anyway. So, yeah. Once you come through here, onto here. Just like that. Now, we're going to go through this vent. And we're going to prevent a hard fall at the end of this vent. By pushing ourselves up against this right wall of the vent. So. Just wait until the end of this vent is uh, finished. Uh, <laughs> you can record these guys if you want. But it doesn't really matter. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm tired today. Uh, right, so. You're going to push yourself up against this wall. Like that. And then you're just going to hold W and fall down. So like that. And that will skip the animation of you. Uh, you sort of like crouch like that. And then get up. And it takes forever. So, you want to push this door. in uh, This thing until it's just past. Like this side. So, just push it, turn your camera, and once you feel like it's just past that side, like that, you can go, and then uh, do a quick open on that door. Now take a left here, and then another left, and another left. And then you're in this room, and you want to jump towards this button, and activate it. The reason we jump towards things is because jumping is faster than running, but it resets your sprint, if you can see here. So, if you jump towards buttons and such, it saves like 0.2, not a lot, but it's still a time save that's easy to do. So, we're going to do a door, uh, like another quick animation on this door. Like that. Then we're going to come around, take a right, and then we're going to jump into it, but we're going to jump late. And then we're going to jump back. Because if you jump early, you'll just hit a ledge and you'll jump to the ceiling. So, once you hear that clunk sound, so keep yourself at the back and once you hear that like the clunk sound, that's when, like, a split second after that, that's when you can start going. So, I'm just going to come around here, and I don't jump towards this because that can happen. 
So what I do is I just wait until I'm there and then just a tiny bit before I can jump and it puts you a tiny bit higher up the thing. So you're just going to jump up here, take a right, and then fall down here. Like that. Now, you're going to take a left through the second entrance, take a right, and then just come round all this way. So then you're going to open up this door, come past this section of the cafeteria. I may have to do a save and quit just to uh, save up some batteries, but it'll be whatever. I'll only save and quit if I get low on bats. So then you're going to jump to this door and then do another fast animation. Like that. I don't know why I got stuck on that door. So, this is where you're going to do another fast climb. So, like that. I didn't really get it there. But there's a few things that can happen. Is Also, you can just run up this bucket and then do it. But it's a bit slow, I think. So that, that, that was pretty good. But you can get a B hop after this, which is best case scenario. So a B hop is when you land from your jump and you perform another jump straight after it. And it will it will give you a further jump uh, and you won't get like a stopping animation. I probably won't be able to perform one. But whatever. So yeah, you can tell if you'll get a B hop because you'll go farther than a normal jump. So do this. Climb get a b-hop if you can i didn't get one and then you want to jump to this middle of this bed but do it earlier than you think you need to because this bed can uh mess you up and you can land and you can like he can hunch over the bed so just jump earlier than you think you need that's what can happen there you go i jumped too late so jump earlier than you think you need to and then just vault over now we're going to vault over this bed here just to save a bit of time i'm just going to do a so you're just going to usually just open up this door, but I'm just going to close it just to prevent Frank from coming in. Uh, there we go. So now the best way to explain this is you can sort of phase through the block or the collision on the bottom, which is allowed. It's kind of weird, but you sort of run into the thing and then strafe jump with W and A. And look up and you can grab onto the ledge so it's kind of weird looking just like that and it will skip one animation so if you get that jump up and then hop to the right and then run through here make sure you avoid this body so go over to the right because if you go on top of it you can get soft locked in a falling animation and you can get stuck which loses time now we're gonna jump grab this handcuff key and then we're gonna run all the way back to the handcuffs so slide over that table. Then we're just going to come around this way. And then try to jump to this again. It doesn't matter if you get it or not. But it does because it loses time. And then try and do another quick animation. And then spam interact. So now we're just going to quick open it. Uh, we're going to hold this door and then open it. So this is a good time to explain it. If a door opens out that way. Instead of doing that and tapping the door. You can hold the door. And then hold W and then let go. And it puts you into that running animation quicker. So we're going to come over to here. And then we're going to vault onto these. Like that. And we're going to come round the side of them here. Try to aim on that sort of collision. Because sometimes you can get a boost off of it. But I didn't there. And then we're going to jump off of this pipe into the cutscene. So. Once this cutscene finish, uh, finishes. We're just going to turn straight around. And spam. Uh, interact. So that we can break out the thing as soon as possible. Okay, so turn around, spam interact, break out the thing as soon as possible. So uh, just wait for this to finish. Hurry up. There we go. Now we're going to turn straight around, then jump up. So we're going to turn straight around and then jump up. And then we're going to sort of jump off this way and then turn our camera so that we uh, grab onto this ledge. But it's kind of tricky to do. Uh, but you can just run to it normally if you don't want to do that. So yeah. So turn straight around. Oh, I didn't care. Oh well. Now we're going to come here. We're going to jump up this first. Or we're going to jump onto this. Turn around jump up onto this. 
Now, we're going to come across this ledge, and close to this side of the ledge, we're going to jump forwards and then turn our camera to the left. So we get a grab. So, uh, I'll sort of do it in slow motion. But you can basically imagine it in full speed. So once we're close to it, we're going to jump and then turn our camera. Just like that. I'll see if I can show you in full speed. Uh, but I don't know if I can get back. And I'll be fine. I can't get back. Okay, well, I'll just do this again then. Okay. So I'll try and show you in full speed if I can get it. Hopefully I can. If you fall down, it's basically a reset if you're going for a quick time. Like that. You can get... Basically what you're aiming to do is get further than this blue part right here. But it can be really tricky to do that. So once we're here, just spam up. And then do another quick uh, animation here. Now, to stop getting this hard fall, what we're going to do is we're going to turn around come out the vents and when we fall we're going to hold W to grab onto this thing and then we're going to spam uh, crouch so we get off. So W, spam crouch, turn right and then try and go for a B hop or two. Okay, here comes Frank RNG. So Frank RNG is, it's never in your favour. Uh, so you can dodge Frank RNG or you can get dodge for Frank which is pretty good. So, let's see. Will we get Frank RNG? Probably not. This is like an 80-20 chance. Okay, no Frank RNG. So, we're just going to take a left. We're going to take a left. And we're just going to head off this way. Now we're going to jump to this. Like that. And then we're going to jump into this uh, cruel thing. So, we're going to come around here. Open up this door. Okay, now we're going to take a left. And then come around here. Come around here. Now get a vault over here, or don't get a vault, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. So I'm opening this door, and don't hold this door. Just tap it, because if you hold the door, you can run past him, and uh, that's considered a glitch. So you come over here, you vault over that. Sometimes that vault can be a tr bit tricky, so watch out. And then you're going to come through this door, and then we're going to come up. Right, so there's another micro time save coming up. So the door that we're going to go through, if we hold it for a bit, Frank can hit us. He can either hit us on the bed or not on the bed. If he hits us on the bed, then we can turn and jump and grab the vents. If he doesn't hit us onto the bed, then what we're going to do is we're going to jump, W and D, jump. And that will basically stop the climbing animation onto the bed. And then we can turn and then jump. So, let's see. So this door... We're just going to hold it for a minute. Okay. And we didn't get it. So as you saw there, I just spam jumped sideways and then jumped into the vent. And spam jumping uh, sideways can stop uh, animations on some things. So we're going to fall through this vent, spam jump. And then we're going to hold open this door. Come through this. Turn right. Spam open this door. Jump to this door. Then open it. Now, coming up is RNG galore. This is why I hate this category, because there's sort of three sort of frank RNG cases. Either he'll be in the doorway and you can't run past him, that loses a lot of time, or he'll run into the doorway as you, or he'll run out of the doorway as you're coming towards him, in which case he'll hit you, but you can just run straight past him. Or in the best case scenario, he won't be there at all, and you can sort of run past him. I'm not actually sure if this is RNG or if it's just a setup that I'm missing. But in my experience, it seems to be RNG. So we're going to vault over this. A uh, quick, an quick animation on this door. And we're going to come through here. Jump. Open up this door. And here comes Frank. So we're going to try and dodge him. So let's see. Can we dodge him? No dodge. Okay. Now we're just going to jump up onto here. And then just go straight straight ahead and full. Okay. Then we're going to slam open this door. Jump. And then turn on the valves. So there's sort of some ways you can tell if you're going to get good RNG or not. One of the cases is that you can't hear him. And that usually means you get good RNG. Hopefully I get good RNG here. Yes, we got good RNG. That means he doesn't uh, spawn. 
or he doesn't like he's not in the doorway so we're gonna run through here jump forwards jump back and once we hear the clunk go like that now here comes the only loading in the game how am i looking for batteries yeah. i'm just gonna save and quit here don't do this in a run i'm just doing this to get batteries uh it will load anyway so don't worry about it so you'll be at this point anyway so just hold and now here comes the favorite my favorite chapter personally of this entire run so we're gonna take a uh left here we're gonna come around here and then take a right through this doorway now down this hill there's a cutscene that's gonna play just like that it played early so let me uh, basically show you what to do and you're gonna jump down the hill to get the cutscene to play as close as possible uh, to uh, the door. So I'll show you real quick. I don't know why he falls over there. It's kind of pointless. So uh, let's see if I can. Just like that. So we're gonna come through here, and you can just run up these. Now here comes up. Oh, I accidentally hit windows. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, no crash. So here comes up a dodge. Which is really weird. So you can either stay close to them. And sometimes they'll hit you. And sometimes they won't. Or you can sort of go a bit wider. And they will never hit you. But it's kind of random. So uh, good luck with that. So I'm going to see if I can get the close one. Okay I've got the close one. So we're going to come through here. And then we're going to run along these pipes. And the second we land on the other side of these pipes. Turn around. Because that will mean you get the save. You're going to come over here. Uh, you can try and jump down the stairs if you want. Now, here comes my favorite trick of the run. Uh, I like to call this ledge skip because uh, it skips like going down some ledges. So, you can either jump too early and land here. Or land on it and not be able to jump. Or you can jump it like middle and you'll land on there and you're able to jump or you can jump what i call the perfect jump which is super late and you'll make it over to there anyway or if you want to be ballsy and you make it onto there if you hop into this corner you can still negate full damage so hopefully i can get perfect jump here just like that so the later you jump the better it'll be so you're going to back up a bit here and then here if you see this uh, ledge if you land on this it will stop you taking your full damage animation just like that now you're going to jump and then up here. Uh, so coming up is a trick called twin dodge. This trick is like really hard to learn for some reason. I found it really difficult but I sort of get it most times now. So you sort of want to do it and then you want to wait until you see like his machete. And then you can run straight at him and push him out of the way. But you, there is a faster one that you can get, which I'll try and get. And if I can't get, then it will suck. But you can just push him out of the way there. And I'm not quite sure how to do that one consistently. So I usually just wait until I see his machete, which is like one or two seconds slower. Uh, and But it's more consistent in my opinion. So I'll actually... I'm so sorry about that. My computer ran out of storage. So anyway, yeah, continuing on. Just this way. Then come here. Now I'm going to wait until I see this guy's machete. And then you can run past. Just like that. Or you can do it the quick way. Which is where you uh, run past him earlier. But there's not really a consistent setup in my opinion. Just sort of go when you feel like you can. Uh, which you get used to after a while. So yeah, he'll swing, and then that's how you know if you got it wrong, because you'll die. So yeah, once you do that, it's pretty like easy to get uh to go on past there, because the rest of this uh, section is pretty easy. I used to have a set for this trick, which was like when this guy stepped on a tile, I would go. It was like when he stepped on one of those, then I could go. I don't know why I'm not getting this anymore. But yeah, you'd sort of have to get a f perfect feel for the trick. It's quite aggravating sometimes. Anything to do with the twins is aggravating. Let's face the facts. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now we're going to try and slam open this door. And come around here. And then we're going to try and jump through here. And then jump onto here. So we're just going to go up here. Which is pretty fun. So, uh... And then we're going to come around here, come around here, come around here, over here. And then we're just going to fo follow my pathing path and try and take these corners quite tightly. Because uh, the tighter the corners, the more time safe. So we're going to fast open this door over here. And we're going to come through here. Now we're going to sit through this lovely, lovely Jeremy cutscene. But before we go through it, I want to explain Chris Dodge. So Chris Dodge, uh, he'll kick open the door straight ahead of you once you finish this cutscene. And he'll come towards you. Now there's a body on the right, which you want to run on top of. And like at the end of the body, you want to hop over to the left and Chris will punch miss you and then you can run on and he won't well he will chase you but he's like super slow okay so yeah that's just one thing to keep in mind with uh, this is Chris Dodge so we'll just wait for uh, Jeremy to start beating the living day daylights out of everything in the entire room for some reason I don't know, he's a, he's a bit of a special man, if you ask me. Okay. Here he comes. Hopefully I can get a Chris Dodge. Uh, it'll be a good example, but if I can't, it's uh, oh well. Because he won't kill you and you can just run past him anyway. So, there's the body. Jump out the foot and you can dodge him. So then just come through here, slam open this door. Now we're going to fast open on Father Martin door. So uh, that's this one. So fast open. Uh, say hello to Father Martin. Hello. And then fall down and then hop off this way. So, we're just going to come around this way, and then this way. So, here comes Drying Grounds. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's a bit boring, in my opinion. There's nothing really much going on. Uh, but, so yeah. Jump out. And then here comes like the sort of first trick in Drying Grounds. So, there's a pipe there that causes you to not take full damage but i've only ever got it in a run once and that was in a race so yeah if you can get no full damage then that's good for you or you can just fall onto that and then not get full damage anyway so we're just gonna come over here come through this door and then we're gonna sort of jump to this jump over it and then jump back because jumping in water is faster, like in some cases. So we're just going to come around here, and then we're going to try and get stairs B hop, which is getting a B hop off of these st this stair set over here. So I actually got it, and you can get a B hop off that second set of stairs, but it's whatever if you don't get it. No jump. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to go up and we're going to look at the thing until it turns on again. And then we're going to turn around. But if you turn around too early, just look behind you and it should still turn on anyway. So the usual good... Make sure you're looking at it else it won't turn on. There you go. So it turned on. Turn around. See if you can get stairs B-hop again. Hopefully I can. That would be pretty awesome. Nah. Can I get one off that? Nah. Okay. So I'm going to... So you gotta jump to this lever again, and I'm gonna explain the dodge coming up. So a guy will spawn directly behind you, and the way that I found to avoid this is you hold back right, and then keep on holding that, and then back for a little bit until you're past him, and then turn around. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it's easier to watch. Just like that. 
and that avoids him hitting you. So now we're just going to come up here and go uh, the normal way. I'm pretty sure you can get a fast animation on this door. Let me check. Yes, you can actually. I just remembered that you can. So yeah, get a fast animation on that door. Slam so open this door. Take a left. You can sort of practice B hops in the halls if you want. Uh, not like you'll get any, but still. Well, you might. So we can come to this door. Now let me explain water hops real quick. So normally, what walking in water is super duper slow, but with water hops, you can keep up a lot of speed in the water. So you just want to sort of hop, basically, but in like a sort of rhythm. So you just want to like, like that. So every time you land, you're jumping and that way you can optimize it as much as possible. So you're going to jump around here and then start with water hops like that. And then you're going to jump up onto here. Don't know why I didn't quite get it. Okay, now we're going to come through here, and then we're going to come through here. Make sure you stay quite central to that, else that will happen. You can get stuck on a random piece of collision. And apparently, you can get a soft lock. Uh, so yeah, that's a big warning. I don't, it's because I'm used to doing uh, Outlast 2 saving quits. Uh, if you get the soft lock, it's a reset, because if you save and quit, your runs are automatically invalidated. So, yeah, stay, stay quite central to that. Okay. And I'm coming up, we're just going to hold the door. So, I'm just going to come down through here, there we go. Then we're going to hold this door. So go through it quicker. And then we're going to hop over this gap. This gap can sometimes be stupid and you can miss it. But usually you won't. But I've missed it before. So try not to miss it at all costs. But So we're going to take a clockwise rotation. So around this way. Because that will make us get the animation or the vault towards the way we need to go quicker. So like that. And then we're going to keep on going. And then we're going to jump. And then get this cutscene where he'll fall through the ceiling. Uh, so, <laughs> this cutscene is so stupid. Like, he probably could have pulled himself up, but whatever. So, there's nothing really interesting in Attic except Dennis Dodge, which is pretty fun to do and it's very satisfying if you get the right animation so it's gonna come take a straight left come through here then we're gonna vault over this sometimes you can get stuck on that so watch out i'm just gonna crawl through here this is just basic routing so there's nothing fancy going on here how am i looking for batteries okay not too bad Now, there's going to be a jump scare coming up, so uh, <laughs> make sure you're prepared for it. So, we're just going to come past here, and then go past this dead body. Don't get stuck in it, and then come through here. So, there's just a jump scare where this guy's going to pop up. There you go. Now, you're going to take a right, come through here, and then come through here. And then we're going to push this car out of the way, but you don't need to push it all the way. You can push it till it's like roughly here and you can still make it through anyway. So I usually gauge it after like one and a half pushes. That wasn't, there we go. So one and a half pushes and you can make it. So you're just gonna take a right around there and then come up to here. See if you can get a B hop. I would've got a B hop if I didn't get stuck. So here comes Dennis Dodge. You can only do this dodge if you get the right animation. Uh, which is the one where he sort of clambers over it. If you don't get the right animation, you just sort of run towards him and then push him out of the way. But yeah, hopefully you get the right animation. And if you do get the right animation, I'm going to explain this now in case I do fail it. You want to stay to the left side of this big blue ball that, ball that you'll see. 
and then you want to jump early and land like sort of to the left of him and then push him out of the way. Okay, I got the wrong animation. So what you would do is you would stay here and then you would jump and then push him out of the way. But if you don't get it, you can still jump and just uh, sort of do that. So, here comes up another minor time save. This saves like two seconds or something. So, it's sort of worth going for. But I wonder. Hold on, let me test this real quick. Oh, so you can do it. So, if you remember in a hospital, how you could skip through some collision, you can do the same thing here as well by just doing the same thing that I taught you. So, the way you want to get this is you want to run and then turn your camera so you land on top of that. Uh, if you don't get it, it's whatever. Sometimes you can avoid getting a hard fall here. So you want to fall, so you want to go back, fall onto that, and then fall down. Like that. So you want to sort of vault over these tables. Like that, then like that. Coming up is Eddie Dodge. Uh, this feels RNG. It's not, if you take my pathing, you should get it most times. But don't be afraid to run straight into Eddie. Because if you stop, uh, He'll come through the door and you won't have enough time to get him out of the way. So make sure you uh, don't stop running. So we're just going to come up to it and then use the door. So he's going to appear and we're going to turn around and we're going to come back the exact way that we did. So come around here, come around here. And then he should be coming through this door. And then you're just going to come through here, push him out of the way like that. And then come over here, jump. And then open up this door using a quick animation. Now we're going to come over to here. Open up this door. Come over here. Push this cart. Go through this door. Come through this. Uh, come around this first one. Because what I used to do is I used to come around here. And I would lose loads of time. But just come around this first one like that. I'm out of batteries, it don't really matter. So we're going to come over here, and then we're going to vault over this, and push this car out of the way. So like that. Eddie will spawn, but just push and don't be afraid. Like that. Come through this uh, door, and then we're going to jump into this cutscene. Like that. So, coming up is a five minute long cutscene. I'll probably cut it out. Uh, scrap that, I will cut out, it's a five minute long cutscene and there's nothing that you really need to know going through this cutscene, there's like, not really a lot, I'll sort of explain a little bit of something, probably before, like, during the cutscene, but after I finish explaining, I'm just going to create a cut so you can uh, skip straight to the end of the cutscene. So, once uh, Eddie stops being upset that we try to get away from his psychotic behavior we're just going to come over to here and then just go forwards and once this raises we can just go uh onto this like that now we're going to come through here and then don't hold open up hold open this door because you'll get stuck on the door frame if you do because you're in this sort of wibbling wobbling animation and what you can do is here, make sure you don't forget to do this. So come over to this door. And when you hear him speaking, you can just go straight in. And then the cutscene will start playing. So, is there anything I want to explain? First of all, uh, obviously I'd love to, uh, you know, shout, shout people out because I love doing that. So, uh, a couple of shout-outs go to Phalex, uh, cool dude, uh, follow him on Twitch, uh, just saying, just saying, and also subscribe to his YouTube channel, um, Phalex, I'm giving you a plug here, okay, uh, I'd like to shout-out Dazeed, pretty cool dude, uh, we do a lot of glitch hunting together, Alexis, once again, pretty cool dude, we also do a lot of glitch hunting together, uh, who else would I like to shout, uh, do, 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 I'd also like to shout out, actually, let me say congratulations to Pablo, who recently became a verifier for this game, so, uh, well done, Pablo, for, uh, you know, climbing up the ladder, becoming a verifier, 
other than that, who would I need to shout out who won't have a go at me if I don't shout them out? Um, guess Claire. Yeah, Claire. She don't run this game anymore, but she's pretty epic, if I do say so myself. Uh, who else? Uh, no, Jay. You don't get a shout out. Just saying. Uh, no, actually, Jay's a pretty cool dude. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's great uh, to have some banter with. But yeah. Uh, is that it? Also, Joji, or thanks, dude. Pretty, pretty uh, cool dude. Uh, <laughs> you're pretty cool. He did leave the community and then he rejoined the community. Kind of weird. C convoluted story plots. It's whatever. Uh, other than that, who else? Uh, I also uh, guess Axis because he's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty cool. And uh, I can make uh, jumps that he can't, so I get bragging rights. Uh, also, Matty. Also, pretty cool dude. Uh, <laughs> he's like pretty good at glitchless if we're being honest uh chrisio as well kind of cool uh <laughs> i'm kidding pretty cool overly good at rocket league it's not something to be happy about and then who else is part of the speedrunning community who is like really awesome awesome source lamb also pretty pretty cool dude mason uh i love you mason <laughs> uh, and other than that that's pretty much it also want to say congratulations to CXIA for the world record at the time for this category congratulations uh, to him that was pretty pretty cool uh, it's not very often we get to see you know a new world record in a pretty optimised category like uh, like this one also uh, watching club <laughs> Uh, thanks to giving all the subs to Falix. <laughs> thanks for giving Falix money. And also, I stopped by your stream uh, last night at like 3am. So, uh, that was pretty cool. And I hope you watched my Minecraft video. It was pretty funny. So, that was pretty much all the shout outs I want to do. Uh, if there's anyone I forgot to shout out, I'm so sorry. And just know that if I didn't shout you out, I probably hate you. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, please don't hurt me but no <laughs> um so yeah i actually didn't need to cut this and cut scene it was all just shout out so uh if anyone bothered to even watch this cut scene i don't know why you'd watch this cut scene this video this tutorial is gonna be like an hour long oh yes just like that eddie <laughs> so once we get out of this uh a trick's coming up uh, where we sort of get hit by Eddie and then run past him. Uh, runs have died to this before. Well, my runs specifically have died to this before. I didn't even realise I paused during this cutscene. Whatever. So my runs have died to this before. So just be wary that it is sort of risky. Uh, risk Why did I say risky so weirdly? It's sort of risky to do. But if you do do it, then you're in my good books. No, I can't look away. Ah, uh, no. Please don't hurt me. No. Whatever. This cool dude over here is going to help me. Help me, cool dude. There you are. Hello, come help me, please. Yeah, yeah. Go on, smack him. Go on, yeah. Bah, yeah. Scrap it out. Scrap it out. So, yeah. Once we fall off, off of this, I'm going to get up, grab the camcorder. <laughs> The running animation is so stupid in this game. I don't know, like, what he's doing here. I'm like, I'm like, why do you have time to put on clothes? So, yeah. What you sort of want to do is you want to stay close to Eddie. And when he hits you, you want to go around the outside of the wall. It's sort of hard to explain. You'll just have to watch and sort of learn. So, you want to sort of stay close to him until he punches you. And then go around the outside. And make sure you stick very close to the outside. I haven't done this in a while, so... Just like that. And he's like right there. He's really slow. 
Like, I don't know why he's this unbelievably slow. Why would I do this to you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're trying to kill me. So it's come through here. Now it's going to come through here. And then over here. And we're just going to make a beeline straight to this window. And then we're just going to spam jump so we can get into it. <laughs> as quick as possible. So, this next door that we're going to bash open can be awkward. Oh, wait, I could have run ages ago, whatever. Can be really awkward. I wonder, can you get a vote? No. Nah. So, whatever. Uh, can be really, really awkward to bash open. Whatever. Can be really awkward to bash open, but what you want to do is you want to stay close to it, go out, and then turn back in. So, uh, watch... As I sort of show you. So close to it, turn out, go back in. We're going to head off to the left. You won't be able to see anything, so just use this as guidance. Then come over to this, and then come here. Now we're going to do another hard full cancel, except this time it's going to put us straight on our feet. So if you come against this wall and then do it, you'll get boosted up and you'll be put straight on your feet. Just like that. So, we're just going to come over here, and we unfortunately can't dodge Eddie. <laughs> So, this isn't no out of bounds. So, come through here. How happy you will be. Grab this key, and then we're going to take a left. Come through here. Push this. Uh, he'll automatically stop when he, you've, you've pushed it as far as you can. So what you're going to do is you're going to vault and stay as close to this right side as possible without being grabbed. Uh, I got stuck on a piece of pipe collision. <laughs> Whatever. If you get if you get killed, uh, don't save and quit. Just wait out the kill animation if you even want to submit the run after you die. So we're just going to push it until he stops. Open up this door. There we go. I should get it this time because now I've got batteries. So yeah, we're just going to run past here. And we're just going to... We're so much faster than him. So uh, you don't really need to worry too much about him catching up to you. So then we're just going to come into this vent. Jump up. Hello, bold guy. You still won't be able to see much. So uh, just come along. And then sort of feel your way around. You, you'll be able to do it. Don't worry. Open up this door. And then we're going to come and just interact as much as you can to get as quickly here as possible. Now we're going to come through this cutscene. Uh, this cutscene is like a minute long. Uh, I'm not quite sure how long this cutscene is. But we're going to have to struggle. Which means we're going to have to shake our mouse close to... My mouse is disgusting. Oh my god, I need to clean it. Ugh, it's mank. Whatever. So we're just going to shake our mouse until uh, we fall. So wait for us. <laughs> you can start shaking now if you want, or you can just wait. Because you'll get a prompt to shake. So, is there anything else coming up near the end of the run? Uh, not really. There's not really anything else. That trick wise, uh, I guess it's mainly just movement now until the end of the run. There's not really any time saves that you can do for glitchless. There we go. I'm still not sure what goes on in this cutscene. I'm pretty sure it's still hanging, but I'm like so confused. <laughs> so we're just going to drop down here once he lets go of our hand. No, don't let me go. Whatever. <laughs> and then we're going to just run uh, off through the door that he slammed us through. So this way. Now we're just going to take a right. And then come to this door. Open it. And then we're just going to run across. Now we're just going to basically follow this until the end. Uh, of the game. 
when we're gonna have to sit through a cutscene with Jeremy uh, in it, which is like always fun. Oh, frame drops. So we're going to come around here, and then we're going to crouch underneath this. Bearing in mind, you won't have any uh, batteries if you didn't die. So what you do is you just follow this wall until this door, and then you can follow around the corner. So we're going to regain our pr sprint pretty soon. Pretty soon, I mean, like here. So we're going to do a fast animation on that door. And now we've got our sprint back. So next, we're going to come through this left side here. Then we're going to vault over this, come through this door here, you can't really do a door animation on that, but whatever. And we're going to run over this way, and then take the stairs down, and we're going to jump into the cutscene. I explained earlier, jumping into things saves, like, point two, but it's still a time save that's worth doing, because it's so simple. So we're just going to jump into this cutscene right here. And we're going <laughs> to... I love how they capitalise die, I, th I only just realised that. No one can know. So, this category is pretty, I don't know, it's medium difficulty. It's not as hard as, like, Hundo or uh, any other category, really. It's not as hard as Hundo or Nata Bounce. Nata Bounce isn't too difficult, but uh, it's really annoying, especially female ward. Uh, and it's not as easy as a category, like, uh, in my opinion, and this is like, I don't know if this is controversial or not, AC is a pretty easy category once you get the hang of it, so it's not as easy as uh, AC, it's a, like a bit more difficult than AC in my opinion to get a low, low time compared to a, oh, voice crack, compared to AC. So, here we come, and time's going to stop. On, I'll try and explain what frame it's going to stop on, but the mods will retime this anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to vote over this, then interact. Now, it's, time basically stops on that frame, or a bit earlier, so around there. So that's how you roughly know when time stops. So, that was it for this uh, Whistleblower Glitches tutorial. I know, the man man himself, Cream Sock, made a tutorial on Glass. But, uh, all I'd like to say is, uh, if you have any questions about anything really to do with Outlast speedrunning, or this category, or literally anything to do with like Outlast or whatever, just DM me on Discord at CreamSock hashtag 6168, and also join the speedrunning Discord, uh, the Outlast speedrunning Discord. It's like really good. The community will help you with pretty much anything you need help with. And it's pretty noob friendly uh, compared to other ones. So yeah, that's all that will be uh, that I need to explain really for this entire tutorial. So thank you everyone for uh, watching my glass tutorial. <laughs> I can't believe I made one, but here we are. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, I'll see you in whatever I make next. Probably another tutorial, if I'm being honest, because they're like so fun to make, and they really help people out. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.